Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance, and Christian's over here helping me. What's up, guys? For those that don't know, that's my son. And we are laying down some fabric today. So just wanted to bring you guys along and show you what we're doing, how we're doing it. So we'll show you a little bit. I'm gonna get some close up of the uh, fabric to kind of show you what that looks like. And then we'll show you us laying it down, stretching it out, cutting it, and then stapling it to the ground. So we've already laid down a little bit of the fabric, which you guys can see. As my son says, it kind of looks like a mattress. But just want to kind of give you a better look at this. So it is a woven plastic fabric. I don't know what kind of plastic it is, but it is woven. We're going to come through and burn the edges to make sure they don't fray. But it's super durable and, and very tinily woven. So hopefully things will not grow in it. We just come up here and we get it as even as we can up top. And thank goodness for our soil structure here. It's pretty, I don't know if I want it that far over. And we're overlapping it a good three or four inches. And the good thing about our soil structure here, as I was saying, the ground's super soft. It's been raining the last couple days, so this thing's pretty easy to stick in and just push it. I don't have to hammer it in or anything like that, which is good. And I'm trying to get around the edges really well, because here in Oklahoma, if you don't know, we have some pretty high winds. And I don't want this to get torn up and blown around, especially after we put the beds in. That looks pretty even. Then once we stretch it down, I just have been coming in here. Trying to catch that bottom ledge a couple times. And then on every one of these lines, I've been trying to put one of these. And then we just have to cut it. So I'm sure a knife would work on this, probably just as good or better, but scissors are working good. If I could cut a straight line, I'd be doing even better. But we are gonna come back and melt this edge. So hopefully I'll straighten it out a little bit. All right, and you can see we got it all laid down. We haven't got the edges yet. And we're about to lose daylight here, so we will probably do that on another day. But in the preparation, you can see we did burn the weeds out from around the fence line all the way down. We'll show some video of that. We'll add that in here. We had a little bit of fun with that.
That boy likes to play with fire right there, for sure. So all we're using is our little blow torch. So much fun. But what we're doing is we're just kind of putting it right around the edges, just like you would with like a ski rope, you're trying to melt it. Not too much, but just melt it enough and not catch everything else on fire. So I wanted to give you guys a shot of the stain we put on. This is just under after one coat yesterday. So we got one more coat to put on. And then I think I'm going to seal it. But just don't have time to do that today. But I thought that turned out looking pretty good. What do you guys think? All right. Well, we got the raised bed stained. And we actually got them moved into place, as you guys can see. We didn't get that on film because it was kind of rainy that day. And we didn't want to uh, get the camera and everything wet. So uh, you guys just see it the after, after effect. So now the next steps in our process is to go out and get some backfill. We have a lot of uh, trees, trees that are down that are dead. So we're just going to come and cut those up and put those in here. And then we'll um, go get some, some dirt and mulch from our local composting facility here in the city that we live in, backfill that, then get some super soil, and then, then at that point we'll be ready to go. Uh, probably take a couple more weeks before we're ready to plant, but we're getting super close and the weather's turning nice, so we're super excited. And folks, and thanks again for coming back and watching our series here on Gardening 101, Learn Along with us. We're definitely enjoying this process and hopefully you guys are too. Hey, if you haven't already, Click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Give us a big thumbs up. Leave us some comments. Tell us how we're doing. Tell us if we're not doing any good. But definitely, we just want to say thank you. And uh, from our homestead to you, God bless and have a great day. Mm -hmm.